Hey, what's up, everybody? How are we doing today? So, since it's Halloween, or er, it's about to be Halloween in a few days, about a week, I decided that I should do a, I should do a scary game, just like everybody else. But this one is something I actually want to do. I'm generally not very good at scary games. I tend to get scared easily. So, uh, we'll see how this works. Oh, uh, I did play the first one. The first one was pretty fun to play. It was scary. So, <clears throat> we'll see how this one goes. Hopefully I don't die. But, yeah. Let's get started. Uh, sure. Ooh. Let's... Oh, I'll learn the controls as I as I go along. We'll just keep it at this. New game. Um, for those who want to experience a story without struggle, for those who want the basics, mm, let's go with this. Aim assist. Choose whether or not you like to use aim assist. Why are you locked? For experienced players, I'm not that experienced. We'll go, but we'll keep it disabled anyway. When is this like in the past? I'm pretty sure. Oh God, Lily! Calm down. It's just fire. What do we do? Can I learn controls here? I don't know. Ready then. She probably not go that way. Maybe this way. Damn it! Really? Isn't that glass? Okay. Like your house is on fire. Really? I don't think I'm you here. have the you? luxury of finding the key. Oh god, is she upstairs? Well, you could probably jump over this, to be honest. But, you know, whatever. <clears throat> How did this happen? Mmm, probably... Ooh. Probably mess around with the flamethrower. Or, you know, back, back in the old, the good old days where you had a... Was it... Um... Cologne and a lighter, and you made this flamethrower, which is really cool. Like a childish flamethrower. Still, ooh, look at that. That's nice, you can interact with these things. It looks really weird though when you walk. Like, it's like magnified. Definitely really weird. As I'm like analyzing everything, I'm, s I'm s I should have probably passed out from all this smoke. Oh, well, maybe not pass out, but it's definitely not good for me. So I can't walk through this, right? I suppose I can go through this door, which looks dangerous, but it's perfectly fine on the other side. Calm down, I'm coming. I'm coming, Lily. Just hold on. Let's see the family photos. Mm. 
Oh, that's cool. I have some family. I have some family photos as well. They're not nice though. Here, Lily. I'm here. All right, crouch. Is. Uh, let's see what's around here first before we open that door. Maybe we can get something cool. Damn it, where is she? Dad, where are you? <clears throat> uh, I was just kind of checking out my house. Lily? Come on out. Lily, where are you? I'm here. Dad's here. You weren't here for me, Dad. Lily! You didn't save me! Oh, freaky child. Flashback. Party fell? Kidman? Ooh. Hello, Sebastian. It's been a long time. Three years. I've been trying to track you down for three years. And you thought you'd find me at the bottom of an empty bottle. Is that it? And why are you here now, damn it? You didn't find me because they didn't want you to. Calm down, Sebastian. You knew what was going to happen in that hospital, didn't you? What happened at Beacon is in the past. You need to forget it. You sound just like that psychologist that forced shoved down my throat. Hmm. But he didn't have answers. You do. You're gonna tell me about Mobius. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm here because of this. A burnt photo. Where did you get this? Lily's still alive. <gasps> Lily is dead. I read the police report. I was at her funeral. We can rewrite history if we want to. Hmm. Staging a death is child's play. Why would I come out of the shadows just to lie to you? Because you want something. Lily is alive, and she's with us. But she's in danger. We need you to help save her. Save her? What have you done to her? Get your hands off me! I was hoping you'd come willingly, Sebastian. But we don't have time for this bullshit. We need you. Lily needs you. Oh no. Sebastian? You're awake. Good. Yeah. Great. Where are we? You're in one of our facilities. Probably so look this around. This is the almighty Mobius, huh? Be careful about what you say. You don't know how powerful they are. Right. So powerful they have to kidnap a washed-up ex-cop to help them. <laughs> 
At least your terrible sense of humor is still intact. Enough of this bullshit. Where's Lily? Patience. All your answers are right here. Oh no, it's the bathtubs. The mental hospital incident was <clears throat> an unfortunate setback. But we used the knowledge gained to build a new and vastly improved STEM system. What does this have to do with my daughter? Imagine it. Millions of minds connected together. Hmm. Happiness for one is happiness for all. This machine, this miracle, will allow our species to achieve greatness. Oh. We needed to start with a mind that was pure and clean enough to support thousands of personalities. The mind of an innocent child. You connected Lily to that machine? Your daughter is quite special. The most stable core candidate we've ever tested. Who are you? Thanks to her, the new STEM has been a smashing success. Until recently. <laughs> A little over a week ago, Lily vanished. Just stopped sending signals. Then the STEM environment began to collapse. We thought it was just a technical glitch. An easy fix, so we sent a team of Mobius agents inside. But then we lost contact with them, and STEM went dark. Think about this, Mr. Castellanos. I am providing you an opportunity. Not only to see your daughter again, but to save her life. Something you thought you failed to do before. And whose fault's that? You can save her, or let her die. It's your choice. Hmm. She might be better off dead. Oh, man. Good luck, Sebastian. And please, try to cooperate with any team members you might find in there. Or kill them. I know you don't trust us, but they have the same goals as you do. That's all right. I'm fine by myself. Just remember to call me the moment you find Lily, so that we can begin the extraction process. I'll be out here for you. Mm-hmm. And someone else will be in there for you. Are you hmm. ready? No. Be careful in there, Sebastian. They're counting on you. Hmm. Something seems wrong. Stem entry in three, two, one. Well, that's cool. Oh, that's sick. How exactly are you gonna land? Um, just freeze time. All right then. That seems pretty cool. I think once this thing's down, I'm gonna turn on the lights for a second. This 
this ended up being a little... Yeah, I should probably turn on the lights. This... Where am I? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Probably should have had the lights on sooner, but I didn't think I was gonna get, gonna get that dark so soon. That was quick. Oh, sprint. Oh. Well, that's cool. Dad, help me! I'm coming, Lily. It's not real. I know it's hard to accept, Myra, but she's gone. Our little girl is gone. No, no. I'll never accept it. You won't help me. I'll find out the truth on my own. What the hell is this place? Detective, we've got a call. Ooh. Cell phone? Or a, a walkie talkie? Hello? Sebastian, are you there? Kidman? What? Snap out of it, Sebastian. You've made it in safely. How are you feeling? Terrible. Like the worst hangover ever. Don't worry. It will pass once your mind has adjusted. You're in an area separate from the main system right now. That's how we're able to maintain communication with you. This construct is called your room. It's a safe zone that was formed from your own memories. My memories, huh? If that's the case, then where are my wife and child? This place looks like my old office at Crimson City PD. It was your self-conscious that built it. You should ask yourself that question. Let's get down to business. We sent some information into your room. Do you see anything unfamiliar? Um... Like a... Not really. The picture? Lily drew this picture of me. It was burned up along with everything else in the house. But why is it in your office? Oh, this is... My first commendation. It feels like another lifetime. I guess because it was. Don't don't start feeling down. Hey, like, smoke another cigarette if you have to. What's this? There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Your lost team, I assume. That's them. Let us know if you locate any of them. You're our only line of communication into STEM. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily too. Union. This STEM environment was designed to look and feel like a small town called Union. Great. So your experts need rescuing too, huh? If anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but I'm only here to find Lily. There's more info there. You should check it out before you go. Yeah, I'm down for that. So, I care about all these people? Hoffman. Psychology and surveillance. This one could be cagey. Hmm. Who are you? Sykes. A tech, but at least he has some small arms training. Communication. I wonder... I wonder if you can use these people. O'Neill. They must not have been expecting trouble if they sent in all these technicians. Yeah. Harrison, combat specialist, huh? Hopefully he can take care of himself. He looks tough. So does this guy. 
Baker. Team leader. He's the guy I should try to find first. I agree. It's Baker, dude. Oh, there's a photo. Lily, your team, and now me. We're all stuck inside STEM. I still don't understand why you can't just take them all out of their pods and wake them up. It doesn't work that way. Without a core, we're totally locked out of the system. To forcibly remove anyone from STEM at this point would kill them <clears throat> and leave their consciousness trapped inside there. Great. Mobius has got some stellar backup plans. Stating the obvious isn't going to speed things along. You need to find Lily. Otherwise she, you, and everyone else inside is going to die. And thank you for stating the obvious. Union, huh? Looks like any town USA. It was designed that way to keep the test subjects calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. The exact opposite of Beacon. What happened at Beacon was beyond our control. It doesn't seem like you've got much control this time either. Look, Ooh. I don't know what you're going to encounter in there. If you need information, I'd suggest you try talking to some of the locals. You know, canvas the area. Just like you taught me back at KCPD. You were never a real detective, Kidman. And you're not a detective anymore. But let's try to do some detecting anyway, okay? She got you there. So, what exactly do I get to? I think that's enough information searching. Go ahead and open this door. Hmm. Is that a baby crying? I don't know. A cat. Oh, it's a cat. Yeah. I don't ever remember owning a cat. Well, it's a black cat, so it's probably a bad sign. Hmm. Slide projector. Where did my memory dig this up? Elementary school. <laughs> Pre phone camera angles. Era. I don't know why I said angles. These are found mostly in old people's attics, estate sales. They can be viewed using the slit. In interesting. One of eleven. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, go ahead and knock yourself out. All right, cool. Well, that was enjoyable. So what happens if I collect all 11? Does it create, does it create like, a, like a scene? Oh, you can move the chair. That's nice. What's the melee? Oh, it's the flashlights. I wonder if there's a battery. Let's see. Nope. Uh, apparently the touch has nothing. A mirror. Mm. Just like Beacon. Should be a way out. Why couldn't my memory just make regular doors? Because you are so messed up, my friends. From what I remember from the first one, you were quite messed up. Oh, safe terminals. Nice. Do I already want to save? I mean, yeah, might as well create the data or er, create the file. Slot figured. Awesome. And it also recharges my walkie talkie. So let's check this out. It's a nice car. I think. Interesting. Kind of want to read that, but I don't think it's going to let me. Can I pet the cat? Oopsie. You can't do anything else, kitty? I would like to pet you, but I don't think that's possible. Apparently, I can't mess with any of these things either. It would be cool to interact with that stuff. 
Alright, so I'm going to cut the video here, and I'll be st starting the other part up. Alright, so I'll see you in a little bit.